Hello guys, I'd like to welcome you to a, a another uh, video. This is going to uh, show you how to move uh, values between two uh, list boxes. So I'm going to actually feed two lists, one list box uh, with certain values. Then we're going to go over uh, certain criteria. If the value meets that criteria, then I'm going to be moving it to the other uh, list box. So first of all, let's go ahead and name this program by saying, let's say, move values. And I'm going to store it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and say move values list box. I guess I had another program with the same. And it's going to be ready in no time. This is my form. I'm not going to be spending too much time in the design. The whole idea is to show you how to write the code. I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to get a list box very quickly. And I'm going to put it here. And this is my list box one. I could click on the right buttons to go to the properties. I need to leave it by the default name for now. Just again, the whole idea is to show you how to communicate uh, between two list box based on certain criteria. I will be specifying the criteria clearly in a second. So let me go ahead and finish with the design by changing the font. To <clears throat> one second here I hope we will be able to make it 28 bold and here we go and I could go ahead and save some times by copying this list box and paste it so I have two list boxes and align them I'm going to get a buttons and if I clicked on the buttons the moving of the values based on the criteria will be Done. First of all, I'm going to click on the first text box and I'm going to this little arrows. One of the options is to edit item by putting those items. So I'm going to put items, say 100, uh, 200, let's say 300, 150, and 400, 305, and 400 again. And it doesn't matter really what all of those values are going to be. And I added enough now. As you notice, these values have been added to the list box. Uh, the criteria that I wanted to specify very slowly, I wanted to see if any of these values is divisible by, let's say, 5. That's the first criteria. And the second criteria, if the value falls between 200 and a 300. So I have two criteria. The first one, if the value is divisible by 5. The second one, if the value falls between 200 and a 300. So in order to write this code, notice that I have two list boxes. So the first thing I need to do immediately is to declare, declare, a value as integer that is going to this value uh, this variable rather is going to be assigned the value that I'm going to grab from the list box the list box is going to have regardless of the number of the items that are put, uh, put in there it's going to be treated as an array and always you need to keep in mind that arrays start counting its elements by the index 0 so I wanted to go ahead and say, uh, first of all, also I like to have a counter here, dimension index, which is the counter, or I could call it count, count uh, as integer, and I wanted to initialize that to zero. So this is going to be work, acting as the count. While the count, actually we need to do do while here, Let's see, do while. Do while what? The count, which is so far is equal to zero or assigned to zero in the memory, is less than or equal less than, since we're starting with uh, zero less than, list box one, this is list box one, dot items, that's mean the property items that has also an attribute is called count, which comes very handy regardless of the number of the item that I put in the count in the list box the count is going to 
produce that for me. And now I could go ahead and access the list box one item at a time. But I'm going to say here value since it's going to save me time instead of accessing the item by the long name. See, the long name is like list box one dot items along with the index count. So instead of repeating that, so also I need to convert that into an actual numerical value in order to store it in value. So value is going to represent that is specific list items in the list box associated with that specific index or count. And so far it's going to be zero and it's going to give it or hand it to value. Now I could go ahead and test value against the criteria that I mentioned. The first criteria was if, if value, what entitles a numbers to become a divisible by another value? It's really the mod variable. Value mod 5 is equal to 0. Uh, and so we have actually and also could be more efficient. And also what? If the value is greater than or equal to 200 and also that value is less than or equal to 300. So regardless of the criteria, really, uh, the criteria is made out of two portions. The first one happens to test for the divisibility of that value by 5. The second one was a combined uh, uh, condition, which really has to test with the, whether is the value is greater than or equal to 200 and less than or equal to 200. Uh, remember, those two are combined also by n. So I'm emphasizing that this has to be actually divisible by 5 and, meaning both of them have to be true, the value has to be greater than or equal to 200 and has to be also less than or equal to 300. If that is the case, then, then what? Then it's going to be value, uh, actually, list 2 box, list box 2, sorry, list box 2 dot items, okay, add, I'm adding that to the item, uh, to the items list in the list box 2, I'm adding the actual value. So I'm moving it there if it, since it fits the criteria. Basically, that's the whole thing. The only thing that I have to be very careful about is new, now since it's a do while loop, in order to avoid an in, uh, or create avoid creating an endless loop, is to make sure that that count is being incremented by one. Uh, this count has nothing to do with the uh, the condition. It has to do with going through every items in the list box. So now, if I could go ahead and run this program, hopefully we will not have any error. And hopefully also we'll be able to see that those <coughs> values going to be moving to the next list box. Let me go ahead and click that. And actually we have here now only 200 and 300 that fits the criteria. If I put, for example, if I stop this here and I go to the design and I added uh, 250, I know 250 is actually uh, meeting the criteria because it's greater than it's divisible by f divisible by <coughs> uh, five, and it is between 100 and uh, 300. Uh, when I run this, it should be moving it also along, just to make sure that everything I do. Here we go. I got it. And this is really should be able to explain to you how to communicate two uh, between two list boxes and move the data based on certain criteria. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. That's the most important things. Bye.